Gordon Congdon will kick it away for Nebraska. Kickoff is underway. It's short, end over end, taken by Parrish Cox at the 6. Center of the field to his right to the 15. Cuts toward the right sideline to the 20. Turns a corner, 25, and steps out of bounds right at the 31-yard line. So that's a good kickoff return for Oklahoma State against one of the nation's best kickoff coverage units. Cowboys will have it first and 10 from their own 32. Keys to the game are brought to you by Oklahoma Farm Bureau. What's on the list, John? Well, let's start with to protect and to serve offensive line dealing with Nebraska's defensive ends and blitz packages. Got to protect Bobby Reed. Do the job just like our law enforcement friends, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, does such a great job. Also, make the stop defensively slowing the running game. Boy, Nebraska really struggles in third and long in Big 12 play. Earn the collar. Not current lingo day, but it applies. Make the plays to win the game. Figure out the final clue and close the deal. On first and ten, the Cowboys hand it off to Mike Hamilton. He tried to run around right end, and he's tackled for a two-yard loss. Back at the 30-yard line. Jay Moore, the defensive end, leading the charge of tacklers for Nebraska. It'll be second down and 12. And, Dave, we talk about blitz package. They will come, and they will come often. Mike Gundy said 48% of the time they blitz Texas. And they have 37 different blitzes. A veteran defensive line and linebacking core for Nebraska. Oklahoma State from the right hash mark going right to left, second and 12. Reed under center. Hands it off to Hamilton. Running around right in. Big hole to the 34. And punched out of bounds at the 37-yard line. A gain of seven. Andrew Shanley, the free safety, made the tackle. It'll be third down and five for Oklahoma State from its own 37-yard line. We're just underway here in Stillwater. Great job by Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end, sealing Jay Moore, the defensive end for Nebraska on that right side to help spring the runner. Third and five, Oklahoma State from its own 37. Cowboys at 44% on third downs and five yards or more. That's an incredibly high percentage. Reed under center gets a snap, drops back, and he's sacked. Back at the 30-yard line, Adam Carricker, one of those two great defensive ends for Nebraska, beat Corey Hilliard on the left side of the Cowboy offensive line and sacked Bobby Reed for a loss of seven. It's fourth and 12, and the Cowboys will have to punt. And Reed could feel him coming but couldn't get away soon enough. He was looking at Dewan Woods out in the right flat, and Dewan was pretty well covered. Matt Fodge will punt it away, averages 49 yards per punt. Standing at his own 16-yard line. He'll kick it away to Courtney Grigsby of Nebraska, who stands at the 35, and Fodge hits a rocket. A high, booming spiral taken by Grigsby at the 19. Left side to the 30, 35, 40. Has one man to beat. Flag comes down as he goes to midfield. Cuts back to the middle to the 40 of Oklahoma State and brought down at the Cowboy 35. But there is a flag down all the way back at the Nebraska 35-yard line. Well, I think uh, it might have been Zach Allen getting down the field. Might have gotten clipped there, Dave, because there was a big hole right up the middle there. And you, know, you can block it that way, but sometimes when that happens, sure enough, block in the back, and it's going to cost the Huskers. So that negates a huge return on the play of 43 yards. It's a great punt by Fodge, who came into the game averaging 49 yards of punt. Well, defensively, again, you're going to see four different running backs for Nebraska, more than likely. They all do something a little bit different. Zach Taylor is a great manager of the game, Dave. They don't put it all on his shoulders, and he obviously hasn't been throwing it as much as you might anticipate a West Coast style of offense quarterback to throw it. That was a 51-yard punt by Fodge. The penalty takes the ball back to the Nebraska 25-yard line. Out of the eye, Taylor on first down. Hands it off to the tailback, running off right guard to the 30, 35, and Brandon Jackson tackled all the way up at the 36-yard line. A gain of 11 yards before nose guard Larry Brown made the tackle for Oklahoma State. First and 10, Nebraska. And two missed tackles by the Cowboys. We had a good shot at him here right at the line. It's hard to say, tell who that was right up front, and then the linebacker, Roderick Johnson, I think missed a clean shot at him too. You talked about the running emphasis. Nebraska, a 58% run, 42% pass offensive attack now Taylor in the shotgun the senior out of Norman who started his career at Wake Forest then went the junior college route before coming to Lincoln gets a snap a shotgun snap and hands it off to Jackson running on the right side to the 40 and tackled at the 44 yard line after a gain of eight Martel Van Zant 
Donovan Woods teamed up to make the hit. It'll be second and two for the Huskers. From the Nebraska 44, we have 11 minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Nebraska and Oklahoma State are scoreless. Let's go down to the field and Robert Allen. Now, well, one thing, guys, right off the bat, I think Brandon Jackson's proven he won't go down with an arm. Cowboys sticking a lot of arms out there, but they're going to need to get the bodies in on the tackles. We have a timeout, Nebraska, on second and two for the Huskers from their own 44-yard line. We'll keep it right here. Brandon Jackson. 402 yards on the ground. Second leading rusher for Nebraska coming in. Almost six yards a carry. And he did have a 100-yard game at Iowa State. 22 carries for 116 yards. And he has been the starter the last three games for the Huskers. Well, as two plays by the Cowboy defense and two missed opportunities for Roderick Johnson. Not necessarily to pick on him, but he was in position. Just didn't wrap the man up. Score big savings when you switch your auto insurance to Mercury. OSU fans report saving an average of $290 a year when they switch to Mercury Insurance, and you can too. Give them a call today at 877-4-MERCURY for a fast, free quote. You can join the thousands of Cowboy fans all over the state that have already made the switch. Orange is power, and there isn't a better place to buy your orange than at the uh, OSU Student Store. Shop 24 hours a day at shopokstate.com, where your monies directly support OSU Athletics. So second and two coming up for Nebraska from its own 44-yard line. John shared with you some of the keys he had for today's game. Robert has a hidden agenda. Robert? Well, we're, we're roughly three and a half minutes into this, Dave, and, and that's not too much time. But my hidden agenda was both these teams went through uh, really tough losses in the final minutes, final moments of their game last week. Make something good happen early. Nobody really has done that yet. Cowboys need to try. Nebraska's run two rushing plays for 18 yards. They have a second and two from their own 44. One back set with Jackson, four wide receivers. As Taylor gets a snap, hands it off to Jackson, running off right guard, breaks a tackle at the 48, has a first down, and dives forward to the Oklahoma State 49. That's a gain of seven before defensive end Victor DeGrate made the tackle, and DeGrate is lying on his chest, injured. Oh, good grief. He is injured, lying on his face down at the 49-yard line of Nebraska. Well, I think what happened there, Dave, his helmet started coming off. He may have taken the back of the running back shoe under the chin and may have scraped his face up a little bit. The great sixth in the nation in sacks has seven and a half on the year. So far, though, Nebraska has chosen to go to the run, and they've had three running plays go for 25 yards. Cowboy defense has had a hard time stopping the rush the last three games opponents have averaged 196 yards a game and five yards per rushing play against the cowboy defense they'll have to get that corrected here as this first half moves along nebraska first to 10 from the cowboy 49 the play clock is down to three down to two as taylor under center gets a snap hands it off to jackson big hole up the middle to the 40 35 of oklahoma state and all the way down to the cowboy 33 yard line a gain of 16 before free safety Donovan Woods made the tackle. First down, Nebraska. Well, it's a great job up front by the Husker offensive line as the flow goes right, and they just seal Ryan McBean on the right side of the Cowboy defensive line, and that's what created that big hole. First and 10, Nebraska from the Cowboy 33. This Husker drive began at the Nebraska 25. Offset eye. Taylor under center, gets the snap, hands it off to Jackson, running off left tackle, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage and stopped for no gain. That's the first time the Cowboy defense has been able to clog the hole on a Nebraska running play. Larry Brown and Ryan McBean out of the interior of the Cowboy defensive line there to make the stop. It'll be second and 10 for Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 33. Well, a lot of times it is about angles, and you know they've been able to get the angles on Cowboy defenders so far, but right there, as you called it, Dave, Ryan McBean gets through, Larry Brown, also Jeremy Nathan helping out there. Bunch formation to the left, single receiver to the right. One back set on second and 10. A handoff to Jackson up the middle to the 30, 25 to the 20. Breaks a tackle at the 18, carrying a tackler inside the 11, and finally wrestled out of bounds on the left sideline inside the Cowboy 10 at the Oklahoma State 9.5-yard line. He took Donovan Woods down the field for an additional 7 or 8 yards. That's a big play. It's a 34-yard pickup. And a first and goal for Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 9. Well, it looked like Patrick Levine, the linebacker, over-pursued, went too far left and left a gaping hole there. 
for the back to get through. Nebraska yeah. has done nothing but run the football on this draw. They've averaged 10 yards per rush on first and goal. A handoff to Lucky. Another in the staple of Nebraska tailbacks. Tackled running off left guard after a gain of two by Larry Brown. Nebraska will play four tailbacks, and that's the leading rusher for the Huskers, Marlon Lucky, the sophomore out of North Hollywood, California, who gained two yards. It'll be second and goal from the seven. That's a nice job by Larry Brown there, too. Remember last week, Dave, Texas A&M moved down the field a couple of times on the Cowboys, and OSU's defense was able to hold them to field goals. That would be a big victory for OSU if they could do that this time. Nebraska tried to score a touchdown on its opening drive for the sixth time in nine games. There's a second and goal from the seven, and Taylor back to pass, rolling out to his right, throws it toward the back of the end zone, and a leaping catch. No, it's broken up. Incomplete, intended for Maurice Purify, the junior college transfer receiver, who stands 6'4". He had it for a moment, but it was knocked away because Donovan Woods and Jeremy Nathan had a Husker sandwich. It'll be third and goal from the seven. Well, credit Marquis Fountain also with putting pressure on Taylor as he was rolling out. He kind of had to throw back across his body, and the ball hung just a little bit. Maybe gave Donovan enough time to get back and knock it loose. Brandon Jackson in a tailback. Taylor under center. Third and goal, Nebraska from the Oklahoma State seven, and Taylor back to pass. Throws to the right flat. The ball is caught, but leveled immediately at the four-yard line. Terrence Nunn made the catch. Martel Van Zandt drilled him so just a gain of three yards and we'll see the Nebraska field goal unit as a Cowboy defense much like the game against Texas A&M gives up some yardage but inside the 10 Titans and we'll see a short field goal attempt well that's a big hit by Martel Van Zandt Jordan Congdon has only attempted three field goals this year this will be from the left hash mark he'll have to slice it Work it from left to right, a 21-yard field goal attempt. They have faked a field goal for a touchdown this year, the Huskers have. Now we have movement on the left side of the Nebraska line, and we'll see what that's all about. Against Kansas State, Nebraska ran a fake field goal for a touchdown. Well, it's uh, Brandon Johnson who's up in the line, and, you know, I'm not so sure you give him more space, Dave. I don't know. What do you, do you want to you look you at the angle? Well, they'll take the penalty back to the nine-yard line. I think what you're trying to say is, is it a more difficult angle with the short kick? Exactly. So the line of scrimmage now the nine. This will be a 26-yard field goal attempt by Congdon. They'll have to slice it from left to right. Snap back, ball down, line drive, kick on the way, and it's good. So with eight minutes and 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter, Nebraska moves 66 yards but has to settle for a field goal. It's Nebraska 3, Oklahoma State nothing. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. It only happens once a year. The Chevy Model Year End Event. We're clearing out the last of the 06s. Now's your chance to choose from a huge selection of new fuel-efficient Chevy cars, dependable long-lasting Chevy trucks, and a variety of versatile Chevy SUVs. Get moving. The last of the 06s won't last long. The Chevy Model Year End Event. Claim yours before they're gone. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. It only happens once a year. The Chevy Model Year End Event. We're clearing out the last of the 06s. Now's your chance to choose from a huge selection of new fuel-efficient Chevy cars, dependable long-lasting Chevy trucks, and a variety of versatile Chevy SUVs. Get moving. The last of the 06s won't last long. The Chevy Model Year End Event. Claim yours before they're gone. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. Hi, Cowboy fans. This is Chris from Kurt Shutters. To be successful on the football field takes dedication, hard work, and attention to detail. At Kurt Shutters, we feel the same way. We're dedicated and provide attention to detail to ensure you the best product available. We guarantee our quality plantation shutters to Cowboy fans wherever they might live. Call us toll-free at 800-416-6455. Stop by Monday through Friday or by appointment on Saturday at 8517 South Perkins Road. Or go online to www.kurtz, that's K-I-R-T-Z, dot com. Eight minutes and 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Nebraska has a 3-0 lead over Oklahoma State. Jake Wesh, who also serves as a holder for Nebraska on place kicks, will kick it off. 
Cowboys have Parrish, Cox, and Grant Jones deep to return it. Wesh is standing right behind the ball, now moves over to his left, and he'll approach it. Make a right-footed soccer-style kick at it. Very tight kickoff coverage formation for Nebraska. This is a high, short kick. This is the way they like to play it. Fielded by Parrish Cox, left side at the 3. Straight ahead to the 10, 15 to the 20, to the 25, still on his feet, left sideline, and knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That's a 25-yard return by Parrish Cox. A good special teams matchup between Nebraska's kickoff coverage unit, which is 10th in America, leading the Big 12, and Oklahoma State's kickoff return unit, which leads all of college football. And you can see why that they cover it so well, because Ricky Denars, first guy down there, about at the 10-yard line, just about met Cox at the 10. Dantrell Savage in it, tailback in a one-back set. On first and 10, Reed fakes a handoff, rolls out, throws over the middle. The pass is caught by the tight end, Justin Waller, out of Ponca City. At the 38-yard line, he's very close to a first down. We'll see where the spot is. Tier Green, the junior strong safety, made the tackle. That's just the second catch for Justin Waller. The redshirt freshman tight end out of Ponca. And it is a first down, Oklahoma State. And one of the reasons he was kind of open over the middle, Darius Bowman was lined up wide right and ran down the field, and he takes so much attention that Waller has a little extra space. 3-0 Nebraska, midway through the first. Bobby Reed under center. I formation, two tight ends. Dewan Woods goes in motion to the right side. Reed fakes a handoff, drops back, sets up, throws right side. The pass is caught by Dewan Woods for a first down and tackled at the 49-yard line of Nebraska. Andre Jones, the corner out of Fort Walton Beach, Florida, made the tackle. But not after a gain of 13 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. Well, John Johnson came in on that play for Bowman, and they got an extra protector in the backfield. Nebraska brought an extra linebacker. Bobby Reed had time because Johnson picked him up. A Darius Bowman in the slot to the right. Dewan Woods split out to the right. John Johnson and Dantrell Savage in an eye formation with Reed under center on first and ten. A handoff to Savage running off right guard. Pushes the pile forward to the 47 and down to the Nebraska 46-yard line. A gain of about four. Stuart Bradley, strong side linebacker, making the tackle for the Huskers. It'll be second down and six from the Nebraska 46. And they flip-flop their defensive line right yeah, before do that. the snap, too. And Oklahoma State almost caught him off guard a little bit. It's where you wonder if the no huddle with all the moving around that the defensive front likes to do, could that give them some problems today? Because you never know when the ball's going to be snapped as part of this spread offense engineered by Mike Gundy and Larry Fedora. Second and six. It's a handoff to Savage on the zone. Reed running on the right side to the 40. He pushes the ball forward near a first down. Down at the Nebraska 39-yard line. Adam Carricker, the defensive end, made the tackle, but it is a first down Oklahoma State after a seven-yard pickup by Dantrell Savage, who last week in a reserve role rushed for 134 yards on 13 carries in only the second half. He gave the fake a little bit like he was going left, took a handoff. We see more of what we saw last week, running tough between the tackles from the little guy. Now we have play stopped. It's 3-0 Nebraska with 6.27 left to play in the first quarter. Cowboys going right to left. That is from east to west on your radio dial. They had to move the chains up to give the Cowboys the first down situation. DeWan Wood split to the right, Darius Bowman to the left. Dantrell Savage in a one-back set. Reed under center as Pettigrew goes in motion as a tight end lined up on the left side now. On first and ten, Nebraska with seven in the box. Reed changing the play, doesn't like what he sees, and he's going to call a timeout with two seconds left on the play clock. We'll take a timeout as well. Cowboys are on the move. 6.06 left to play in the first. It's Nebraska, ranked number 20 in America, with a 3-0 lead over Oklahoma State. As Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. Two dinette sets, two dogs. <laughs> two car insurance companies. This is a true story about true savings from State Farm. We had to get rid of a few things. What's my chair? He had State Farm. And she had the gecko. His agent helped us compare. There was no comparison. This time, one of his things stayed. Find an agent today in the AT&T Yellow Pages or visit statefarm.com. Like a good neighbor, stay Farm is there. Savings based on home and automobile discount. Keep on the sunny side. 
at Days Inns this fall. Trip Rewards members stay once, stay twice, get something nice. A $25 gift card good at America's favorite stores and restaurants. Plus a chance to win free gasoline for a full year. Join Trip Rewards now at DaysInn.com. Under the sun. Offer ends 12 Full details at daysend.com. No purchase necessary to enter the free gas sweepstakes. Prize value up to $1,500. Good morning, Harold. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Look at what you're wearing. <laughs> Big game tomorrow. Yeah, but a team jersey, a ball cap, and sweatpants for a client meeting? Hey, be happy I didn't wear the face paint this week. There's a better way to show you're a fan. The OSU check card from BOK. Get yours today when you sign up for free checking. Bank of Oklahoma, our state's most convenient bank. Member FDIC. 6.06 to play first quarter here at Boone Pickens Stadium. Nebraska on top of OSU 3-0. The Cowboys with a first and 10 from just inside the Nebraska 40 when we get back to play. Dave, you know, we haven't talked about it too much. Everyone knows about Bobby Reed having to leave the game in the second quarter last week because of a getting dinged in the head, to use Mike Gundy's phrase. So far, he's looked very confident, but then again, he hasn't tried to run the ball yet. Reed is two out of two, throwing it for 23 yards. This Cowboy drive started inside the OSU 30. They've taken it down to the Nebraska 40. Started at the Cowboy 28. Dantrell Savage. In a one-back set to the left of Reed, who will be in the shotgun. You'll have Ricky Price and Adarius Bowman split to the left. And DeWan Woods to the right. From the right hash mark, that is the far hash mark, on first and ten. Reed gets a snap, throws a screen pass. It's caught by Savage, and he's tackled immediately for a five-yard loss. Back at the 45-yard line, that's Adam Carricker, who earlier in this first quarter had a big sack on Bobby Reed on a third down. He came in there and knocked down the Cowboy tailback for a loss of five. It'll be second and 15. Boy, just a lot of penetration back there. Bowman had to really kind of spend his time dealing with a man back there to try and give a Savage a block, but a lot of white shirts in that backfield. Trip receivers now to the left side. Anthony Parks, Adarius Bowman, and DeWan Woods. Now Parks goes in motion to the right side. Reed in the shotgun on second and 15 from the Husker 45. Reed, quick throw, far side. The pass is tipped, and it falls incomplete. Adam Carricker again, this time getting his paws up in the air and batting down the throw intended on the far side for Anthony Parks, I believe. Incomplete pass. It'll be third and 15 for Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 45. Well, if Parks makes the catch, there are two Nebraska defenders out there ready to try and bring him down. So, again, outnumbered out there on the edge. Cowboys have had the most success in between the tackles so far. Four receivers, three to the right, one to the left. Bobby Reed in the shotgun on third and 15 from the Nebraska 45. Four-man rush. Reed rolling out to the right, throws down the right side. The pass is tipped, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Nebraska. The Huskers come up with a turnover. It glanced off the hands of a Cowboy receiver, and I believe it was Tier Green, the strong safety, who came up with a pick at about the 35-yard line and takes it all the way to the Nebraska 49-yard line. Darius Bowman had the ball hit him right in the hands. It went off his hands and into the hands of Green, who was about three yards behind him. And that one wasn't Bobby Reed's fault, just his seventh interception thrown this year. And Nebraska takes over with excellent field position at its own 49-yard line. Well, looking at the replay, you know, Bowman did have to reach pretty good for that, but that's a catch you expect him to make. Stations for you, you a identification opportunity. We'll try to do that after this play. Nebraska up 3-0, now with good field position at its own 49. After the interception by safety Tier Green. Zach Taylor under center, one back set. Taylor hands it off to Jackson. Big hole off left tackle to the 45 to the 40. Cuts to the middle, 35 to the 30. And tackled at the 22-yard line of Oklahoma State. A 29-yard gain for Brandon Jackson, who's been running around making big plays throughout this first quarter on the ground. And Nebraska will have a first and 10 from the Cowboy 23. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Cowboy Radio Network. Five decades of commitment to OSU Sports. Your flagship station for OSU Sports since 1947. KSPI, Stillwater. 3 nothing Nebraska. First to 10 Huskers from the Cowboy 23. It's a handoff to Jackson running off right tackle. And he goes nowhere this time as Xavier Lawson Kennedy who's checked into the game in the interior of the Cowboy defensive line. 
Brought down the Husker tailback for no gain. It'll be second and 10. Nebraska has run the ball nine times here in the first quarter for 97 yards, and the Huskers have a 3-0 lead, trying to add to that advantage with four minutes and five seconds left to play in the first. And it's pretty obvious if the Cowboy linebackers don't make plays, don't get in the right spots, Nebraska's going to do this all afternoon. Taylor in the shotgun. Jackson to his right in a one-back set on second and 10 from the Oklahoma State 23. Taylor gets the snap, drops back to pass, has time, late blitz coming, throws far side, the pass is caught at the 15. Purify made the catch, and he stumbles down close to a first down at about the 13-and-a-half-yard line of Oklahoma State. He's about a half-yard shy. A gain of nine yards on that throw and catch. It'll be third and short for the Huskers. Purify came all the way across the field, and Taylor had just enough time to wait for him to break open in front of Martell. Good closing there by Martell to keep him from the first down. Purify kind of stumbling at the end of the play, too. Third and one, Nebraska from the Cowboy 14. High formation now with Dane Todd at fullback and Brandon Jackson at tailback. Taylor under center. Third and one. It's a handoff to Jackson straight ahead, and he stopped. I don't know if he got it. I don't know if he got it. We'll see what the spot is. He was hit about a yard behind the line of scrimmage and tried to push the football the necessary foot or so for a first down. He had to get right up to the 13, and I'm not sure if he got there or not. Well, they're looking at it pretty closely here, and they're going to bring the change in and look at this one. Well, I don't think there's any doubt if he didn't get it, they'll go for it on fourth down. The Atherton Hotel at OSU offers guests the softer side of OSU Orange. Soft, cozy down beds, personal service, and a beautiful atmosphere are just the beginning of a great way to visit Stillwater. Call the Atherton today, 744-6835. The Atherton Hotel for a softer side of orange. Well, they pull the chains, and he's probably a foot short. So it'll be fourth down and about a foot for Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 13. Now they're just going to bring those big boys back up. Oh, they, this bring is a no-brainer here. When you're averaging 10 yards per rush... Good grief, you'd think you could get a foot. Well, can the defense make a big play? 3-0 Nebraska, Huskers fourth down and a foot from the Cowboy 13. Cody Glenn now, the power tail back in. And it's a reverse handoff, running on the left side to the 12. And I believe wow. on the reverse, France Hardy has picked up a first down at the Oklahoma State 12-yard line. Running on the left side, they fake the handoff to Glenn, the powerful tailback, and gave the ball to Hardy, a wide receiver on the reverse, and he gained one yard and a Boy. Nebraska first down. And Martel Van Zant was almost in position. If he'd had any help on the inside, the Cowboys stopped that play. Can you believe that Nebraska, Nebraska runs an end around on fourth and a foot this deep in their territory? It surprised me. First and 10, Nebraska from the Cowboy 12. Jackson back in at tailback as Taylor goes to the shotgun. Taylor gets a snap. Blitz coming. Throws near side. The pass is caught at the six-yard line. Terrence Nunn hit as soon as he caught it after a six-yard gain as Jacob Lacey was in coverage. It's a six-yard pickup up to the six of Oklahoma State. It'll be second down and four for Nebraska from there. Well, Taylor with enough time as they brought two linebackers that time, Nathan and Johnson, both from that side. He throws out into that, that area, and Lacey has to give him a little bit of room because he doesn't want him to get behind him. Second down and four, Nebraska from the Cowboys' six. Taylor under center, out of the eye, hands it off to Jackson, running off right tackle, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he carries a tackler forward for maybe a yard. It was Roderick Johnson who had to grab him and hang on. It'll be third down, and we'll call it three for Nebraska from the Oklahoma State five. A minute ten left to play in the first. Nebraska leads 3-0. They were denied on a first and goal earlier in this first quarter, and now they have a third and three from the Cowboy five. They can pick up a first down without scoring yes. a touchdown. That is key to remember here. But if you're the Cowboy defense, if you can get a stop here and keep him from less than a yard from picking up that first down, you've won another war here. Now Cody Glenn in at tailback. Out of the eye on third and three. Taylor, quick drop, quick throw toward the far part of the end zone. Oh. It's incomplete, but a flag comes down. They're going to whistle. Jacob Lacey, I think, for pass interference against Maurice Purifa. And the shame of that is... In the corner of the end zone on the left side. That, that ball is not catchable. I know that's not part of the rule, but we're going to see wh which way this is going to go. Pass interference. 
against Jacob Lason. Ball will be placed at the two-yard line, first and goal, Nebraska. Well, we'll get a look at it here on the replay on the big board, and we'll see. We may not be able to see too well from this. I know Lacey had his – the problem is he had his arms outstretched like he was trying to catch up with Purify, and he did that right in front of the official. Jackson back in a tailback, first and goal from the two, and Jackson gets a handoff, running off left guard, and he pushes the ball. Did he get into the end oh, zone? I don't no. know if he did. Oh, he down. did. Late indication touchdown, Nebraska. Well, we mentioned this in the pregame, Dave, that, you know, we talked about the importance of one of the teams and Robert's hidden agenda, you know, as well. Importance of making a, a positive play right off the bat is we got a Cowboy player injured lying in the end zone. Figure out who that is. But, again, let's bring up the fact that Nebraska had Kansas down 17-0 early, midway through the first quarter in Lincoln. And Kansas still fought back and almost won that game, forced it into overtime. The one difference in that game is, is that Kansas just killed itself with turnovers, several of which were the drop-dead variety, a couple deep in their own territory, and then one going into the end zone in the first half. The thing that scares you about this one is Nebraska's run it 13 times for 105 yards in the first quarter. The Cowboys have had a hard time stopping them. Break in the action. 33 seconds left in the first. We're waiting for the extra point with Nebraska leading Oklahoma State 9-0 as Cowboy football for most communications continues in a moment. This is Cowboys head basketball coach Sean Sutton inviting you to come discover Oklahoma. I'm proud to call this state home. There are so many exciting activities, attractions, destinations, and scenery. It's a great getaway for the whole family. And with our centennial celebration getting underway, it means you'll find all kinds of festivals, parades, exhibits, and events statewide too. Plan your trip today at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma, Native America, come check it out. Are you looking for lower prices on your auto parts? Well, come to O'Reilly. You'll find lower prices on top quality brand name parts every day. Our products are manufactured by the very best in the business. Wix, Monroe, Wagner, Borg Warner, Motorcraft, Fram, Gates, Champion, Bosch, Castro, Penzo, Babylon, and the list goes on and on. Over 100,000 parts and counting. Save more at O'Reilly Auto Parts. O'Reilly. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Brian, got your chicken wings. Sarah, two veggie burrito, side of hot sauce for me, a jumbo burger with two sides of fries, because let's face it, honey, you always end up stealing mine. What? I didn't want that. Mine's cold. Need a value meal that makes everyone happy? Try the new family value meal from Pizza Hut. Start with two medium pizza stop any way you want. Add bread sticks and cinnamon sticks and a two liter of Pepsi, all for $19.99. Delicious. Now this mm. is dinner. The new family value meal from Pizza Hut. You always get more when you go for the good stuff. Limited time offer prices, participation, delivery areas, and charges may vary. Specialty or up to three topics. Pepsi substitutions may occur. Back here live in Stillwater, 33 seconds left, first quarter. Nebraska leading Oklahoma State 9-0. An extra point about to come. Jeremy Nathan being helped off the field. He's actually walking off under his own power. Orange is power, and there isn't a better place to buy your orange than at the OSU Student Store. Shop 24 hours a day at shopokstate.com, where your monies directly support OSU athletics. We'll have to check on Nathan. The linebacking core for Oklahoma State has already taken a major hit. As Chris Collins two weeks ago was lost for the year, with a knee injury, and that's not a position where Oklahoma State has much depth, as we found out last week when Zach Carter had to finish up the game at linebacker, and he was on the scout team getting ready for the A&M game. That's when Patrick Levine got hurt. Point after by Congdon, snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and Nebraska marches 51 yards after an interception. Eight plays on the drive, and the Huskers have a 10-0 lead over Oklahoma State. Dave Brandon Jackson, 11 carries, 99 yards in the first quarter. Wow. Vance Bank of Oklahoma makes your life easier with 74 locations, including supermarket locations, open seven days a week. You can also get free checking, free bill pay, access to hundreds of free ATMs statewide, and a free OSU check card. It'd be okay. You always win. Member FDIC. Now we knew coming in, Nebraska would try to run it, try to pound it. Cowboys have had a hard time stopping the run as of late. So far, unfortunately for Oklahoma State, that trend has continued. 
as the Huskers have generated 105 yards on the ground. 13 rushes, only four passes in this first quarter as the visitors from Lincoln, Nebraska have jumped out to a 10-0 lead. And this is where one of your other phases has to make up or kind of help balance things out. you got to win something in your special teams. You have to do something on offense. Is that ball again, you know, they take over with great field position because the ball that Bowman couldn't quite bring in and tipped and it's intercepted. Jake West kicks it off. Another high, fairly short kick taken by Grant Jones. Right hash mark at the 5. To his left to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and tackled right at the 20-yard line. That's where the Cowboys will start first and 10. They had a good drive going on their last possession, but the drive was ended on a third down interception that actually went off the hands of the intended receiver, Adarius Bowman, who probably should have caught it and was plucked out of the air on the tip by a strong safety T.R. Green of Nebraska. And so far, Dave, the Cowboys have had more success going, well, a little bit more directly at the Nebraska defense than trying to go wide. Reed under center. On first down, it's a jet sweep handoff to Artrell Woods, the freshman wide receiver, trying to turn a corner on the right side. And he picks up about two yards as he's knocked down just in front of the far sideline by Lance Bradenbaugh, a junior backup inside linebacker. It'll be second down and eight. That's the wide receiver handoff there, utilized for the first time this season by Oklahoma State. And that is the last play of the first quarter. Number 20, Nebraska leads Oklahoma State 10-0 after one period here in Stillwater. This is a Cowboy Radio Network. It only happens once a year. The Chevy Model Year End Event. We're clearing out the last of the 06s. Now's your chance to choose from a huge selection of new fuel-efficient Chevy cars, dependable long-lasting Chevy trucks, and a variety of versatile Chevy SUVs. Get moving. The last of the 06s won't last long. The Chevy Model Year End Event. Claim yours before they're gone. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. It only happens once a year. The Chevy Model Year End Event. We're clearing out the last of the 06s. Now's your chance to choose from a huge selection of new fuel-efficient Chevy cars, dependable long-lasting Chevy trucks, and a variety of versatile Chevy SUVs. Get moving. The last of the 06s won't last long. The Chevy Model Year End Event. Claim yours before they're gone. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. Picture lunch or dinner at El Vaquero. Appetizers, sizzling shrimp, beef or chicken fajitas, authentic Mexican burritos, mouth-watering enchiladas, deep-fried chimichangas, cheese, beef or chicken nachos, Mexican seasoned grilled T-bone steaks, authentic Mexican seasoned seafood, and quesadillas. Experience great Mexican meals every day at El Vaquero, Stillwater's authentic Mexican restaurant, located at 5020 West 6th on Highway 51, or call 377-8476 for reservations. Start of the second quarter here at Boone Pickens Stadium, Nebraska 10, OSU nothing. Today's stats brought to you by Oklahoma Propane. We talked about it quite a bit through the first 15 minutes. The story is right here. Nebraska has run 30, or 17 plays for 120 yards. They are averaging 7.1 per play. 105 of their 120 total yards have come on the ground. Brandon Jackson, 11 carries for 99 yards, and he has the only touchdown in the game so far. Zach Taylor, 3 of 4 through the air for only 15 yards. On the other side of things, the Cowboys have run 11 plays for only 27 yards. Bobby Reed, 2 of 4, with a tip ball that was picked off near midfield on Nebraska's last possession. So 2 of 4 for 23 yards, and now facing a second and long from their own 21. Now the propane, clean, safe, dependable propane delivers. I'm sorry, John. It's all right. Cowboys, second down and eight. From their own 20, they'll now go from left to right, that is from west to east on your radio dial. Here in the second quarter, Reed in the shotgun. Now Darius Bowman goes in motion to the left side. On second and eight, Reed, wide receiver screen. Left side caught by Ricky Price to the 25, still on his feet to the 30. Flag comes down, and Price goes down at the 31-yard line of Oklahoma State. That's a gain of 10 yards, but it may come back. We'll have to wait and see. No, Reed is clapping, saying it's against Nebraska. Defensive holding. How about that? So Ricky Price making his first catch in the last four games, and it's a very important one. It's a 10-yard pickup and a Cowboy first down, and the reason it's important is this offense needs to get some momentum going, try to get some points on the board. 
as Nebraska has jumped out to a 10-0 advantage here early in the second. Well, if you can do something to get outside of their talented ends and their solid linebackers and get matched up with their defensive backs, then that's where Oklahoma State will have a major advantage. I mean, you talk to Nebraska people, and they talk about how Courtney Grigsby, for example, has been burned all season was the way it was put to me by a radio a, a personality in, o in Omaha this week. And, you know, they got another one out there playing with a kind of a soft cast on his hand, too. So it's first and ten for Oklahoma State from the Cowboy 31. I formation with John Johnson and Mike Hamilton in the game. Single wide receiver is Dewan Woods to the right. Now Johnson goes in motion, lined up wide to the left. As Reed gets a snap, fakes a handoff, throws near side, and the pass is caught. A sliding catch made at the 44-yard line of Oklahoma State by Dewan Woods. A gain of 13 yards, Courtney Grigsby in coverage, but Dewan Woods has now caught a pass in 29 consecutive games, and that's a 13-yard pickup and an Oklahoma State first down. And it's great concentration by Dewan because he was sliding. He had to come back to that ball and slide and protect it with his body. Reed in the shotgun, two receivers to each side. Dantrell Savage in a one-back set as Reed gets the snap, hands it off to Savage, trying to turn a corner on the right side, and he's drugged down from behind after a one-yard gain, and there's Adam Carricker again. The 6'6", 295-pound senior defensive end, second team all Big 12 a year ago out of Kennewick, Washington, ran down Savage from behind. Otherwise, he may have gained eight or nine yards on the play. It's just a two-yard pickup, second and eight. Cowboys quickly out of the huddle. Reed under center. Hands it off to Savage, running on the right side. Big hole to midfield to the 45 of Nebraska. And he pushes his way forward down the right sideline, all the way down to the Husker 39-yard line. That's a gain of 16 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. And the ability of the offense to line it up and get it snapped quickly can kind of counter what Nebraska is doing up front, not showing their front until the last second. Cowboys quickly up to the line again. Reed gets the snap. Hands it off to Savage, running on the right side, breaks a tackle in the backfield. Loses a football as he was going down at the 40. And is Nebraska recovered? You've got the linesman in there trying to unpilot. Nebraska thinks they've recovered it. And Nebraska has recovered it. At the 40-yard line, that's the second Oklahoma State turnover in the last two possessions inside Nebraska territory. Well, and you're moving the ball, too. He gets hit as he was stood up. He got stood up and got hit by the second. As the well, second wave of Nebraska players got hit. You know what this is just almost exactly like here, Dave? It looks very similar to the situation at Houston right before the end of the half where the receiver for Houston got hit, stood up, and spun around. I mean, this, this is very similar in my mind to what uh, what We have a review, there. John. Yeah, that, that's review. what I'm saying. They're, they're reviewing this to see whether he had been stopped. I don't know if this is a forward progress well, call or not. remember, the whistle comes into play. Sure. They'll have to decide whether he was down first, I assume. Well, this is something the Cowboys just can't afford at no. this point, especially when you're moving the ball like that and you've shown an ability to get a quick jump on them while they're trying to decide what they want to do defensively. Well, we apologize. Our feed from the referee is not functioning properly otherwise we'd be able to listen into this we'll try to interpret it for you and have robert listen in they confirm that the ball carrier dantrell savage was on the back of another player when he lost the ball so it is a fumble and the cowboys turn it over and nebraska has the ball right back well if you're the huskers you know you've run it so well but it wouldn't surprise me at all if they took a shot to the end zone try to throw a deep one here. And they have three receivers to the right, one to the left. Brandon Jackson in a one-back set, and he's already gained 99 yards here in the first half. Taylor under center. Cowboys show the blitz. Now Taylor changing the play at the line, slaps his center on the rear end as he retreats to the shotgun. Jackson lined up to his right on first and 10 from the Nebraska 39. Cowboys come with a blitz. Taylor back to pass. Hit as he throws over the middle. Pass is caught to the Cowboy 40 to the 35 and down to the 33-yard line. France Hardy, the wide receiver, made the catch. Taylor got rid of it under pressure, and he completed the pass for 27 yards and a Nebraska first down from the Oklahoma State 34. Boy, Roderick Johnson came through and just leveled Taylor as soon as he got rid of it. Problem was, that's the open spot on the field on that particular look defensively, and he had the man right there. 
First and 10, Nebraska, from the Oklahoma State 34. Jeremy Nathan, who was injured on Nebraska's last touchdown play, is back into the game at linebacker. On first down, it's a reverse. A handoff running on the right side to the 34 and all the way down to about the 32-yard line. Kenny Wilson took the handoff on a reverse and advanced it. They'll say down to the Oklahoma State 31. There was some extracurricular activity on the Nebraska sideline. It's a gain of about three yards. It'll be second down and seven for Nebraska. We have 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first half. Nebraska leads Oklahoma State 10-0. The Cowboys have turned it over twice in Nebraska territory. And the Huskers are on the move after Oklahoma State's last turnover. A fumble at the Husker 40. As the visitors have it second and seven from the Oklahoma State 32. Again, if you can get them into third and long, even though you haven't tackled them very well, Nebraska has trouble picking up third and longs in conference play. Taylor gets the snap, hands it off to Lucky, and he's smothered for a four-yard loss back at the 35-yard line by Darnell Smith. It'll be third and ten for Nebraska. The statue reference, John, in Big 12 play, Nebraska, nine out of 40 on third downs and five or more. That's just 22% in comparison The Oklahoma State offense converts those opportunities in third and five or more in league play at 44%. So you've got them where you want them. And they're not in field goal range because Congdon has not made a field goal longer than 41 yards in his career. Third and 10, Nebraska from the Cowboy 35. Taylor in the shotgun. Gets the snap, four-man rush. Hit throws over the middle and the pass is caught. Near a first down by France Hardy at the Cowboy 23-and-a-half-yard line. Well, so much for that stat. Jacob Lacey there in coverage. I'm not sure if he picked it up or not. They were spotting him back at about the 24-and-a-half, and he may be just shy of the first down. We'll have to wait and see. No, they're giving him the first down. First down, Nebraska. You have to credit Zach Taylor there, too, because twice now he's been popped pretty good just as he was letting go of the ball, and he put it right on the money. First and 10, Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 24. Huskers 10, Cowboys nothing early in the second. High formation. Jackson back in at tailback. Dane Todd is a fullback. They go to two tight ends. Single wide receiver to the left on first and 10. It's a handoff to Lucky. Off left guard, big hole to the 20. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Nebraska. Correction, Brandon Jackson was back in there at tailback. As I said, he took the handoff and scampered into the end zone for the Nebraska school. Everybody moves left. He cuts right back. One of the Cowboys, Larry Brown, got some penetration there, but there's nobody home once you get past that front line. No orange jerseys there to lay a helmet on. Congdon in for the extra point to try to make it 17-0. Snap high. It's fumbled. It's loose, and the Cowboys recover it. Martel Van Zandt fell on it. So that's a blown blown point after attempt. That's the first miscue on a PAT for Nebraska this year. Break in the action. Brandon Jackson has two touchdown runs for the Huskers. He's had a huge day. 123 yards on 12 carries and those two scores. And number 20, Nebraska, leads Oklahoma State 16-0 with 10.43 left to play in the first half. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. Have you had an accident? Do you need quality repair with an insurance-approved auto body repair shop? Then you need Diamond Auto Body. Diamond Auto Body, located at 2825 East 6th in Stillwater, is the only certified first auto body shop within a 75-mile radius. Diamond Auto Body offers the best in facilities and equipment with highly qualified, well-trained professionals utilizing quality products. So call Diamond Auto Body for all your auto body repair needs at 372-2119. Serving Stillwater National Bank and Oklahoma State have grown up together. In 1894, when Oklahoma State was moving its first students into Old Central, SNB opened its doors for business. Over 112 years later, SNB continues to support our community, OSU, and the spirit of doing business with confidence. Go Cowboys! Stillwater National Bank, when quality matters. Member FDIC. SNB! At J.D. Bailey's Home Furnishings, we'll get you ready for the holidays. For all your family gatherings during Thanksgiving and Christmas, you'll be ready and save big on pre- 
Pre-season pricing from J.W. Lee's. We have an enormous new selection of formal and casual dining groups. And for the football fans, a large selection of the famous peep laundry recliners, as well as theater seating. There's no minimum purchase required for our 12-month same-as-cash 0% financing. Save now during our pre-holiday pricing at J.W. Lee's Home Furnishings, open seven days a week in downtown Stillwater. Come see us. Here at Boone Pickens Stadium, 10:43 to go, second quarter. Nebraska 16, the Cowboys nothing. They have 22 plays for Nebraska for 181 yards. They're averaging 8.2 yards per play. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have 67 yards and have moved the ball into Nebraska territory on their last two possessions, but they've thrown an interception and lost a fumble. Let's go down to the field and Robert Allen. Yeah, Dave, we were talking about Zach Taylor, the Nebraska quarterback during the break, and I know you mentioned earlier he started his career at Wake Forest, but second time this year, Chris Cobb being the other one at Houston, this is a young man that committed to Mike Gundy, then the Cowboys offensive coordinator, back during the summer and stayed with the Cowboys until December when he decommitted when a teammate, Dewey Selman's son, committed to Wake Forest, and he decided to join him, so he could have started his career right here. Jake West kicks off for Nebraska. High, high, short kick, fielded by Parrish Cox at the 12, trying to turn a corner on the right side to the 20 and tackled at about the 21-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Oklahoma State from its own 20-yard line with Nebraska on top, 16-0. Well, pressure even more so now in your offense, not just to move it because you've proven you can move it to a degree, but to move it cleanly and go down and get some points. Keith Tostin, the true freshman, in a tailback for Oklahoma State. He did not play last week against Texas A&M. He was not injured. He just not did not get into the game. Reed hands it off to Tostin, running off left guard to the 21 and tackled at the 22 by Stuart Bradley, the linebacker. Second down and eight coming up for Oklahoma State. Was a nice big hit there as he came through. Bowman could not quite get in position to get a decent block on it. 16-0 Nebraska. 9.59 left to play in the first half. Reed in the shotgun. Three receivers to the right. Anthony Parks now goes in motion. Split out to the left side. So two receivers to each side. Now Bowman goes in motion to the left. On second and eight, Reed gets a shotgun snap, pumps, scrambling. Now he'll try to run. Straight ahead, 25 to the 30. 35, right sideline, 40. 45 to midfield, down the right sideline, 35, 30, 25, and knocked out of bounds inside the Nebraska 25 at the 21-yard line. Bobby Reed on the improv, ladies and gentlemen, and that goes for 56 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. And that's a great sign because you wonder whether he would be tentative after the mild concussion or getting dinged in the head last week. Once he made up his mind, he took off, and he got a great block downfield from, again, Dewan Woods. Remember, this is really the first time all year this Nebraska defense has seen a run and pass threat quarterback with the abilities of Bobby Reed. And that time he gave him a nice introduction. Fellas, that's what dealing with something like this is like. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 21. Play clock down to two as Reed gets a shotgun snap, hands it off to Tostin on the zone. Reed straight ahead to the 15, and Tostin dives forward to the Nebraska 13-yard line before strong safety Tier Green made the tackle. It'll be second to two for Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 13, and let's go down to Robert Allen. Guys, you can see it down here. John probably saw it as well. They reacted to that zone read just a little bit differently. They froze. A couple of guys laid back, and it's now respect time for 14. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Robert. Seconded two from the Nebraska 13. Reed in the shotgun. Tostin in a one-back set to his right. Bobby gets the snap. Rolling out to the right. Wants to throw. Looking, looking, now scrambling, and he's sacked for a loss of four yards back at the 17-yard line. Adam Carricker with a big play again, but that was a coverage sack as Reed wanted to throw it. Could not find any room to run on the right side and loses some yardage there. They'll take it back to the 16. Loss of three. It'll be third and five for Oklahoma State from the Husker 16-yard line. Yeah, Corey Hilliard had Carricker held up for a moment. Carricker spun back inside. 
and Reed just didn't have anybody open. Cowboys 0 for 2 on third downs. Third and 5 from the Nebraska 16. Remember, this is a team on defense that likes to blitz. They show the blitz. Here they come. Reed back to pass. Floats it over the middle. The pass is caught by Tolston. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. They caught him in a blitz, John Holcomb, they and they made did. them pay. And a great call right here. Everybody's coming up the middle. Well, one guy up off the right side. That was Jay Moore kind of on a stunt there, and Tostin had Shanley trying to cover him, and Shanley was two steps behind. That was another one of those plays they put in this week, and they worked on it in practice. And you knew if they came with an all-out blitz and they caught him at the right time of that play, it'd go for a big play, and it sure did. Rick's on for the point after. Snap back, ball down, kick is blocked, and Nebraska can run it back for two points if they want. The ball rolling down the field at the 35, it's scooped up, but the man who recovered it is tackled at the 40-yard line. Adam Carricker blocked it. Now from up here, Dave, maybe Robert had a better look, but it looked like that thing was kicked low again. Boy, and as Joe DeForest said, he did not know how his kicker, Jason Ricks, would respond after having a point after attempt blocked no, in overtime they had to some end the a and game. Pardon me, Dave. They had some penetration right up the middle. 16-6. Nebraska leads Oklahoma State. 8-12 left in the first half as Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. Life on the ranch is a whole lot easier since I started cooking with propane. Good cooking. Extra long Philly cheesesteak. Sonic's got it, others don't. Now you can stop in for lunch and get the great taste of a classic Philly cheesesteak stretched by Sonic. We take our extra long bun and stuff it full of steak, shredded cheese, sautéed onions, and green peppers. You don't have to go to Philly. Just drive into Sonic for lunch and order an extra long Philly cheesesteak. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. And don't forget, Sonic accepts all major credit cards in your My Sonic card. Cowboys 0 for 2 on third down. Third and 5 from the Nebraska 16. Remember, this is a team on defense that likes to blitz. They show the blitz. Here they come. Reed back to pass. Floats it over the middle. The pass is caught by Tolston. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. That play happened just a moment ago. Cowboys caught Nebraska coming on a blitz on a third down at about 5. And that touchdown throw of 16 yards from Bobby Reed to Keith Tolston has cut Nebraska's lead to 6. 16 to 6 with 8-12 left to play in the second quarter. Bruce Redden to kick it off. Line drive, end over end kick, sails about five yards deep in the end zone. And it's fielded by Marlon Lucky, and he'll take a knee and accept the touchback. And Nebraska will begin first and 10 from its own 20-yard line. For food, fashion, and fun, visit Eskimo Joe's and Stillwater's Three Amigos, Eskimo Joe's, Mexico Joe's, and Giuseppe's Italian Kitchen. Calling all OSU football fans, stop by the John Deere booth at every home Cowboy football game and register to win a John Deere mower and trimmer. Grand prize to be given away during the Bedlam game. Brought to you by your local Oklahoma John Deere dealers. So Nebraska, which has generated 128 yards on the ground in just a quarter and a half of football, will begin first and 10 from its own 20. Marlon Lucky now in at tailback. Zach Taylor under center. Taylor... Gets a snap, fakes a handoff, drops back, throws in the flat left side, caught by Lucky, and he's tackled after a five-yard gain at the 25-yard line by a true freshman linebacker, Patrick Levine. It'll be second and five for Nebraska from there. May have Danny Randolph do some number crunching for us as to Nebraska's first down yardage so far in this game, a very significant statistic for the Huskers. Gained five on that occasion. 
And Taylor had time, too. He had a couple guys running deep, one down the middle of the field. Cowboys have to respect that. Levine made a pretty good play. Two receivers to each side. Taylor under center. Lucky in a one-back set on second and five for Nebraska from its own 25. Taylor hands it off to Lucky, hit in the backfield and swarmed over a five-yard loss back at the 20-yard line. Nathan Peterson beat his man. The Cowboys were coming on a blitz. And it's a five-yard loss. It'll be third and ten for Nebraska. Well, I think he was matched up with Chris Patrick, the 6'4", 290-pound junior. He's listed on the left side. And what big plays by your defensive line can help cover up some of the problems you've had at linebacker and in the secondary. Third and ten, Nebraska from its own 20. Again, in conference play on third and five or more. The Huskers at 22% coming in, but they converted one on their last drive. Taylor in the shotgun, pointing to a Cowboy defender. He was pointing to Larry Brown, who's lined up to the left of the center. Now there's a stoppage of play as a play clock has run out, and Nebraska has used a timeout. Taylor was pointing at Larry Brown, the Cowboy nose guard, and his center and trying to communicate with him, that being Brett Byford, the junior, who's a first-year starter at center for the Huskers, is Kurt Mann. A two-year starter has been out for several games of the virus. They couldn't get on the same page, and so the Huskers use a timeout. That's a veteran play, too, by Taylor. To be able to recognize maybe what the Cowboys are doing and help out his young center and have the presence of mind to get the timeout called in a critical situation before the play clock runs out. Oklahoma State football is brought to you by Integris Heart Hospital, where experts are bringing you life-saving answers. Score free checking, free bill pay, hundreds of free ATMs, plus a free OSU check card at Bank of Oklahoma. With so many convenient services in 74 locations statewide, choosing BOK is a smart play. Member FDIC. We asked Danny Randolph to do that first down research. We wish he wouldn't have. 12.8 wow. yards per first down play for Nebraska. Now, though, as we said earlier, and Nebraska converted because Taylor made a heck of a play on a third and ten that set up the Huskers' last touchdown as he was hit as he threw it but hit his wide receiver for first down yardage. Now he'll be facing a third and ten from his own 20. Remember, Taylor has been sacked 12 times in the last four games, and many of those sacks come in these types of situations that are predictable passing situations for Nebraska. Well, you got DeGrate and Peterson in, and Brown and McBean on the interior this time. And Peterson's already made one play on this series. How critical this is, though, Dave, because you make a play here and force them into a punting situation, you should have pretty good field position yes. if you can get the stop right here. And with that kind of momentum, you've seen what the what the offense has been able to do, even though they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. You know, and also, frankly, you're talking about the first stop of the day if you can get it here. Cowboys go to five defensive backs. Martel Van Zandt, Donovan Woods. Jacob Lacey, Andre Sexton. Harris Cox in the game. Third and 10, Nebraska from its own 20. Taylor in the shotgun. Roderick Johnson creeps up there, maybe going to blitz. Now they've got another man up on the line as Taylor gets a snap. Back to pass, pocket collapsing, and he's sacked! He's sacked for a nine-yard loss back at the 11-yard line! You get him in predictable passing situations, partner, and the game really changes. It was Nathan Peterson who came up with a sack for the Cowboys. A totally different look now by the Nebraska offense on this play, and yes, the Cowboys showed a big-time blitz, and Roderick Johnson hesitated like a delayed blitz by Roger to help fill a hole there in case the back came springing out of there and Dave this is a rare occasion for them to punt this deep in their own territory and they have their backup snapper TJ O'Leary doing the snapping this afternoon Dan Kitchener standing two yards deep in the end zone to punt it away good snap steps into it high but short spiral very high kick Parrish Cox calls for a fair catch and makes the catch at midfield so a 38-yard punt and no return. The Cowboys will begin first and 10 with excellent field position from midfield with five minutes and 23 seconds left to play in the first half. 
and Nebraska, who once led 16-0, now leading 16-6, and the Cowboys trying to make it a one-score game by putting points on the board here. And they've got momentum. That's the biggest key right here. Been able to move it downfield. Bobby Reed has looked pretty good. Got to get more. Reed under center. One back set with Tostin, who hauled in a touchdown pass from Bobby Reed on a third down on the Cowboys' last possession. On first and ten, Reed hands it off to Toasted, trying to turn a corner right side, does to the 45, still on his feet to the 40, and knocked out of bounds on the right sideline at the 38-yard line of Nebraska, a 12-yard gain before free safety Andrew Shanley made the tackle. First down, Oklahoma State. Well, he had just enough scoot to get around the outside there because there was a big defensive lineman. That was Zach Potter, the backup defensive lineman, who should, could have had a shot at Toasted there, but a good block downfield by Dewan Woods again. First and ten, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 38. Reed under center. Dewan Woods split to the right and Darius Bowman to the left. Reed gets the snap. Hands it off to Tostin. Running on the right side. Big hole to the 35 to the 30. Right sideline to the 25 and knocked out of bounds at the Nebraska 24 yard line. Andrew Shanley made the tackle again. Well they see something and they're going to keep going right until Nebraska makes an adjustment to stop it. They're getting good blocking up front. Good blocking on the edge by Woods. They're running it, expecting to go right unless Nebraska loads up. That's another 12-yard gain. To the 24 of the Huskers. First and 10, Oklahoma State. Correction, a 14-yard pickup. Reed under center on first and pin from the Nebraska 24. It's a handoff to Toasted on the right side to the 20. Runs through a tackle and takes it down to the Nebraska 18. A gain of six. Andre Jones, the corner, made the tackle. They're just pounding away at the right side. It'll be second down and four with four minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the second. Nebraska leading Oklahoma State 16-6, but the Cowboys are on the move. And a nice job by Toasted cutting back a little bit, but cutting back with authority and finding the hole. Reed under center. Dantrell Savage in at tailback in a one-back set. Tommy Devereaux split to the right. Dewan Woods may have been injured on the last play. On second and four, it's a counter handoff to Savage. Running on the left side to the 15, to the 10. Makes a cut to the 5, and he takes it into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Dantrell Savage. You go right, you go right, you go right now, sure. Cross him up and go back left, and a nice little hesitation move to kick it right outside by Savage. He got past the safety. The safety got up a little too tight. I think it took a bad angle, and he got a good block on the outside from the receiver and fought his way into the end zone. The Cowboys have rushed for 135 yards in the first half. Nebraska has not allowed more than 187 yards in a game all year. Rick's on for the extra point. Trying to make it a 16-13 game with 4-13 left in the second. Zach Allen will snap it. Good snap. Flag comes down. The kick is good. We'll have illegal procedure against Oklahoma State. Boy, you don't want to see extra points just become a constant thorn here. Yeah. Russell O'Kung is called for illegal procedure. They'll move it back five yards. Bobby Reed has 46 yards rushing. Toaston 43 and Savage 39. The Cowboys now have 197 yards compared to Nebraska's 173. They'll move it back to the 8, so it'll be a 25-yard point after attempt. Let's see if Ricks can get out of his funk here. He's had his last two PATs blocked. He's a good kicker. If he hits one, he'll get his confidence back. Cole Reynolds is the holder. Zach Allen again will snap it. Snap low, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. 4-13 left to play in the first half. Nebraska's lead, once 16-0, is now 16-13. The number 20 Huskers lead the Oklahoma State Cowboys. We'll pause as Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. I got a new job and a little cash. I want a flat screen and I want it fast. So I'm gonna eat smart and save some money. Cause if your stuff ain't cool, people look at you funny. That's what I'll do. Dollar menu. Double cheeseburgers, McChicken sandwiches, and apple pies. The price can bring a tear to my eye. Dollar Menu makes everything seem within reach. So I don't borrow from friends and seem like a leech. That's what I'll do. Dollar Menu. Prices and participation may vary. 
There's some pretty cute cars on the road. You just want to take them home and cuddle with them. But it's come to the attention of Dodge that some have questions about cute cars. Yeah, I don't want a cute car, but is there a car for someone who's not a dateless 30-year-old happily living with his parents? Good question. And Dodge has the answer. Dodge Caliber. It's anything but cute. When you get out of it, people don't expect a married band of clowns to follow you. And when you put the pedal down, it feels like you're making a statement. And that statement isn't, I like Broadway musicals. Caliber's got available music gate power with liftgate speakers to celebrate good tunes, illuminated cup holders to to celebrate good drink and an available chill zone beverage cooler to celebrate thermodynamics. There's no built-in vase for pansies. Calibers for people who despise cute things like plush toys, perky gymnasts, and dog sweaters. Nice. I'm getting a Dodge Caliber for me to get down with my bad self. Sounds like a plan. The all-new Dodge Caliber. It's anything but cute. For more information, pull up Dodge.com. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Reed under center, Dantrell Savage in at tailback in a one-back set. Tommy Devereaux split to the right. Juan Woods may have been injured on the last play. On second and four, it's a counter handoff to Savage, running on the left side to the 15, to the 10, makes a cut to the 5, and he takes it into the end zone. Pistols firing, touchdown, Dantrell Savage. 13 to play first half. The Cowboys have trimmed a 16-0 deficit to 16-13. Day, the Cowboys on the ground, 18 carries, 135 yards. That's seven and a half yards a carry, and suddenly their average per play is better than Nebraska's. And remember, as I said after that touchdown, Nebraska has not given up more than 187 yards on the ground in a game this year. They'd only given up 203 yards in the last three games combined. Redden kicks off. This is a high kick that is taken two yards deep in the end zone by Franz Hardy. Straight ahead to the 10, to the 15, hit at the 18, and stumbles forward to the Nebraska 22. Martel Van Zant made the tackle for Oklahoma State. Cowboy football brought to you by your neighborhood Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Stores. Brahms gives you more. Well, again, your defense has some momentum now because they were able to get Nebraska off the field and made the big third down sack on Taylor. Before we get to this, remember Cowboy football is brought to you by MidFirst Bank. Open any checking account, receive a free full-size OSU ice chest and two free OSU folding chairs. Brandon Jackson at tailback, Dane Todd the fullback. They're in the offset eye formation on first and 10, Nebraska from its own 22. Taylor gets a snap, hands it off to Jackson, running off left tackle, and he stopped after a one-yard gain at the 23. Not much room there for Jackson, who's had an excellent first half. Victor DeGreat and Roderick Johnson teamed up to make the tackle. 13 carries for 124 yards for the junior from Horn Lake, Mississippi. One yard on that carry. It's second and nine for the Huskers. One of the things the Cowboys have done adjustment-wise is they're showing Roderick Johnson looking like he's going to blitz the last several plays. Now, he's dropped a little bit, but he's not back as deep as he was early in the game. Gorgeous day for football here. Clear skies, 70 degrees here in Stillwater. Nebraska led 16-0. Their lead now is 16-13. As the Huskers are second and nine from their own 23. Taylor throws a screen pass over the middle. It's caught by Lucky to the 30, 35. Busts a tackle at the 40 and rolls all the way down to the 44-yard line. Lots of popping and no wrapping up by the Cowboy defense. It's a gain of 21 yards as Lucky bounced around like a pinball right up the center of the field on the well-executed screen pass. First down, Nebraska. Well, Levine had a shot at him, was kind of shielded by a man, but you described it perfectly, Dave. You can lay a hat on somebody, but good backs are going to bounce off of that and pick up more yardage, and Lucky did just that. Nebraska has one timeout remaining. Huskers lead 16-13. First and 10, Nebraska from the 44. It's a handoff to Lucky straight ahead. Big hole to midfield and all the way up to the Oklahoma State 47-yard line as Andre Sexton made the tackle, and there's an injured Cowboy player. Well, it's Sexton. There's a pretty big oh, collision boy. there. And right shoulder, maybe. We take a look at it. Yeah, that... They went shoulder to shoulder at the end of that play. And Lucky got the better hit in, I think. Not sure if he picked up the necessary yardage for a first down. They're going to measure for that. And Andre Sexton being attended to, lying on his back, now sitting up at the 48. Sexton is a Cowboys leading tackler with 48 on the year. Had 15 tackles against AM. He's running off the field, but sort of 
gingerly holding his right arm as he's escorted off the field to the near sideline where the Cowboy bench is. They pull the chains tight, and Nebraska's gained a first down. Let's go down to the field and Robert Allen. Robert? Pure speculation. Watched him run off. Looks like a stinger now. Of course, obviously, that's just speculation. But that's typically the way a player reacts when he's had a stinger. And uh, we'll check with uh, Rob Hunt. Thanks, Robert. First and 10, Nebraska from the Cowboy 47. Zach Taylor, 7 out of 8, throwing it today for 79 yards for the Huskers. He's under center with a one-back set on first and 10. It's a handoff to Lucky off right guard. Big hole to the 40, 35, and tackled at the Oklahoma State 30. Running on the right side, Marlon Lucky gained 17 yards before Donovan Woods made the tackle. First down, Nebraska with a minute 57 left in the first half. Well, big hole defensive end got caught on the inside, and Levine might have been a little bit too wide wide at linebacker and Lucky just kind of dipped his shoulder and ran to the inside of Levine and that's how he picked up the extra yardage. Clock running a minute 50 left. Taylor quick throw far side. The pass is caught for a 7 yard gain to the 23 yard line. Maurice Purify the junior. Junior college transfer made the catch. Martel Van Zant with the tackle. Nebraska quickly up to the line. They'll have a second and three. With a minute 32 left. The Huskers have just one timeout left. Second and three from the Cowboy 23. Taylor under center. Hands it off to Lucky, who tried to reverse his field and slipped and fell down for a one-yard loss back at about the 24. Boy, he had some room to run on a cutback, and he just lost his footing. It'll be third down, and we'll call it three for Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 23. A minute 11, a minute 10 left. No huddle for Nebraska. Taylor retreats to the shotgun. Third and three from the Cowboy 23. Huskers lead 16-13 as Taylor gets the snap. Drops back, throws near side. The pass is caught for a first down inside the 10. Purify to the 5. Does a tightrope walk down the sideline and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, nice job there by Taylor. Again, he was feeling a little bit of pressure. And he had one-on-one basically out there against Parrish Cox. And Parrish gave him a little space but then kind of ran at a bad angle to try and grab him and just didn't wrap up. 22-yard touchdown throw and catch. Extra point coming up. Nebraska's missed one, so is Oklahoma State. Conklin will try it. I say he missed one. It was a fumbled snap. This is a good snap. Ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. So 56 seconds left to play in the first half, and Nebraska's increased its lead to 23-13 to over Oklahoma State. And if the Cowboys didn't have two turnovers in Nebraska territory... Oklahoma State might be in a tie game or could have the lead because neither defense has been able to stop the other team's offense. Let's go down to the sideline and Robert Allen. Oh, I mean, Joe DeForest down here on the sidelines was just beside himself. Victor DeGray did such a good job. He didn't get through cleanly, but he got through two of the blockers on that last extra point. And, I mean, he was right in position to knock it down and wasn't able to get it. Okay, Robert, thanks very much. Cowboys have two timeouts left. And 56 seconds to work with if they want to try to push it down the field and get points on the board before halftime. All starts with a big return. And we've seen how Nebraska covers. They really do a, a great job at covering kicks, Dave. And, you know, sometimes you say, well, the best weapon is kick it in the end zone and make them take a knee. Well, that's true. But when you can kick it down inside the five and you pin a team inside the 20, that's not bad either. But the Cowboys need to pop a big return here and give themselves a chance. First down yardage for Nebraska. A key stat. We'll have Danny Randolph recalculate that. It's probably up over 10 yards still, close to it. Kickoff is a knuckleball, squib kick down the center of the field. Glances off Parrish Cox's leg. Now he takes it. Running on the left side to the 20, 25, 40, 35, 40. Left sideline to midfield and finally punched out of bounds in Nebraska territory at the 45-yard line. Nebraska got away from its usual kickoff and went to the, to the knuckleball line drive squib kick, and Cox made him pay for it. He took it back 35 yards to the Husker 45-yard line. I'm not sure they... I'm not sure why they went away from what has worked so well for the Huskers all year long. It's almost like you, you just kind of conventional wisdom under a minute squib kicking. You know, but it, it did backfire. How many times have you seen that when a receiver kind of bobbles the ball on a squib kick and then he uh, goes ahead and takes off and gets big yardage? Now, the Cowboys thought that Cox was out of bounds, but apparently not. Clock is running 27, 26 seconds left in the first half. Reed in the shotgun still trying to get the playoff. Gets the snap. Fakes a handoff. Drops back. Sets up. Throws deep down the right side. Caught by Darius Bowman. 15, 10, 5. Pistols firing. Touchdown.
touchdown, Darius Bowman! Turns out, Dave, they knew exactly what they were doing. Of course they did. <laughs> we just up here being... What do you say, John? I don't know you, what. Well, Not very smart, I guess. You know, you can kind of line Bowman up as a decoy when you have this many weapons on an offense, and maybe that's what's happened to a degree since you've run it so well in this first half. But you see one opportunity. They've obviously seen something, the way that they were trying to bracket Bowman, saw where they could get in the ball. Bobby Reed with a perfect throw. Extra point attempt coming up for Ricks, trying to make it a 23-20 game with 15 seconds left in a half. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. That's the 10th touchdown catch for Adarius Bowman this year. And Adarius Bowman, who's second in the nation in yards per catch, comes up with another huge play. Caught it, broke a tackle at the 10, and took it to the end zone. It's 23-20 Nebraska with 15 seconds left to play in this topsy-turvy, full of offense first half. Well, as you look at the replay of the Bowman touchdown there, Dave, I think safety late coming over. And that basically, when that happens, then you basically have a Darius Bowman one-on-one, -on -one, whether they're in a kind of a zone coverage or not. This Oklahoma State offense is so diverse. And what's becoming very evident for those of us who watch this team day in, day out, game in, game out, fans, broadcasters, everyone else, is that it puts the defense in such a guessing game as to what might be coming at them from down to down that it opens up all kinds of opportunities for you. Well, you got to just have to address so many different things. You're, you're right. And now the onus on the special teams coverage unit. Don't give them anything, which is going to give them a shot at the end zone or at points here right before the gun. Redden has a good kickoff. This sails eight yards deep into the end zone, and Hardy thought about bringing it out and thought better about it. Takes a knee and accepts a touchback. That may be the last play of the first half. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Cowboy Radio Network. Five decades of commitment to OSU Sports, your flagship station for OSU Sports since 1947. KSPI, Stillwater. Well, the Nebraska offense wow. is out onto the field quickly. Cowboy defense having a hard time getting lined up. Now the play clocks, the time begins. First and 10, it's a handoff to the tailback. That's Lucky running straight ahead to the 35 and pushes it all the way up to the 38-yard line, and that is the end of a wild and woolly first half. 